All right, welcome back. We left off. All right. Let's go. We got her. I need to go get my beard cut. What's up with my face? I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. I know, bro. Same Z's. That's why I'm always munching on stream. Because right before I start, I'm like two or three bowls of cereal in. And it always makes me hungry for some reason. Don't know what it is about the three to four leaf clovers. Am I supposed to ride her wagon? I am so not paying attention at all to what is going on. I have to return the cougar. You don't know how to drive your own wagon. That's the kind of thing, like, like I get following her, like, you know what I mean? Escort. <laughs> but why are you making me abandon my horse? I was going to eat a Charleston Chew Big Bar. Sure, a lot. Nice to meet you, sir. They're like 600 calories. Why won't you let me whistle for my horse on the wagon if you want me to be on the wagon? One boy needs to follow me. I don't want to walk all the way back over here for him. Ooh, inclination. Good use of a word. Some butterscotch pudding. How does the non-alcoholic beer sit, like, foam-wise? Is it the same? Like, so the one that I had was way less carbonated. I had, like, O'Doyle's or something. It's a green and silver one. It's supposed to be, like, Old Milwaukee. But not Old Milwaukee. Something else cool. Because Old Milwaukee is the high-gravity like stangy one that I used to buy for like two bucks when I was an alcoholic and steel reserve man I miss steel reserve still it was nasty but it made me feel like I was drinking in like a dystopian future where the beer was brewed in the body of a robot that I had destroyed and I really enjoyed that aspect of it and it got you for cheapy oh yeah yeah I do miss cores too. And Rolling Rock, dude. Rolling Rock, it's only 3.5, too. Rolling Rock's like nothing. It's like water. It's essentially grog, dude. It's pirate water. And it's so good. It's so refreshing. It should count as a non alcoholic we beer. The main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked, too. Oh. Might I? Whoa, dude, look at those over there. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best with all the ivy growing over it, them. it's so neat. We was tearing around here looking for any kind of land. I wonder if they like animated like a single like sheet and then they like replicated it on the polygons to make that form. Because that's the same. It's like a like that one right there. Can you stop talking to me? Your face smells. But like that right there. Why we stopping? With the, the little slope and everything, and then that angle, with the same like almost slope, those look like mathematical like, like where you do the straight line to build a curve. I bet that's how they did that. They created a two-dimensional sheet of the leafing. I don't. I'm, I'm getting blah blah. I just really like that. It looked really natural up until you look at that curve like that, and then that looks mathematical. But everything else, it looked really clean. It's cool all ivied up like that. That's what I like about, like, Washington coast. It's all covered in all that ivy. It's all ivy. It grows right up the side of the trees. All tree of the trees, you know. Can you follow me, horse? Just because I stop doesn't mean you have to stop following me. I'm always checking for her. Him. It. Them, they? 
Oh. I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good. Jolly good. I know, dude. We used to get messed up. We used to the Rolling Rock for beer pong because it was less percentage and you could play longer. But, but that was the other downside because when it got stale, it got gross. You're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Yeah. Mr. Margaret. Yeah. I miss Lance, man. He got destroyed. Teed up. Knocked me unconscious. You got any more word on that running or you gonna stupid truck for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command Performance Material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cowboy <laughs> in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. Is he paying me at all? Do I get part of the money of his opening show or something? Because somebody else is giving me money when they finish their book. I do like Emerald Ranch, though. I'm fond of it. I do rather fancy me a ranch made of emeralds, you know. I don't know what's up with all the accents. What was that? Do you see that trying to touch my foot? Creeper, bro. You're not even subbed and you're trying to touch my feet? Uh-uh. You gotta hit the follow if you want to see my toes. Ooh, you're a pretty boy. Look at you. One, two, three, four. Got a four point. Is that your wife? Sorry, was that your wife? My bad. She's my dinner table now. What do you bring to the table, honey? I'm on the table, dearie! Oh, a sniper rifle to the back of a rabbit's head? That is messed up, dude. I don't know why I did that. I should have switched to my pistol for that. I didn't have time, I guess. He was running, but... I forgot what I was... I shot a rabbit when I was a kid with a 7mm08, which is literally a sniper rifle. Like, it's a low grade. You can fucking hit shit at sniper rifle. We're not like American 50 cal sniper rifle ranges, but like old school World War II, World War I sniper rifle ranges. Like an M1 Grand, it would go there, dude. But I mean, I hit him in his back, hit quarter hip. Like, this is a good deer pelt. Come here, horse. But I got him in the back hip, and it came out the top shoulder as he was in the full extent of his jump, and it skinned him and split him in half because it had so much velocity behind the round. I mean, the the bullet on it, it's seven millimeters around. Big old thing, ripped through him. But I just, I just relived that in a video game. Rolling rock on my back. Why are you not here? Do you not understand the concept of walk over here, horse? Yeah, I'm about to take back what I said about keeping you the end. Don't you shake your head at me. Put one through your forehead. Make me walk all the way over here to put a hide on your butt. God. Ooh, bird. I killed that bird before. Oh! I fell like an airplane. Magpies will do that if you can get them with an arrow. Ooh, I should start shooting some of the birds out the sky with an arrow. A hawk? That's sad. I like hawks, so that shape is a hawk. Don't shoot those. Hawks are noise. Talk to a, <laughs> a poor girl, man. To be young and dumb and then have it go viral. Would suck. I'll take your meat. Yeah, I ruined his pelt for sure. Fucking clapped him. Bullets have, have. See, it just depends on where you buy them, how you do them. The way we did when we grew up on the mountain, what we when I was a kid, used guns. My stepdad, he reloaded everything himself. So he kept all his own brass. If he didn't have any extras, he would buy brass. He did all of the lead himself. He weighed all his powders himself. So, like, we never had, like, an inconsistency with, like, 
getting a lot of blanks or with like round velocity differential because he knew exactly how much he put up. And then we would have a box that was regular and then we have a box that he called hot loaded and they would have like an extra like between 50 to 100 grains depending on what it was. And they were hot loaded because you could only fire so many of them before the barrel would get really hot and you could cause it to warp. But man, those suckers would blow rocks apart, dude. It could just shatter boulders. It's nuts. Because we would hunt rock chucks, and it was easier because they got these little bodies to shoot the rocks behind them that they were on. And when the bullet would hit and explode on the rock, it would create a shrapnel bomb that would explode back onto the, the animal. And then you would essentially create a, a shrapnel bomb with the bullet. And that was the best way. I mean, we'd just pop them. And then once you get them with the big, the high velocity shotgun, their bodies there, they come to eat each other so that predators don't come. And then you can just sit there and pew, 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 with like a 22. Jump. Okay, you can stop jumping now. I'm just kidding, I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, Jeebus McCrimini. Good job. I'm proud of you. Why is there no goats? Did the lion eat all the goats? Oh, yeah. He's in there. He's getting all the cows now. They got it locked up. I'm on it. I see. I got all the information. I One loop. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I just, like, blasted them in their faces real quick? Let the lion out? Nice. Oh, I'm sure she does love the popularity for it. Absolutely. But still, like the mentality of being dragged through that situation, I wouldn't wish that on any. I wouldn't wish it on myself, at least. Like, if somebody wants that, then absolutely, I wish it for you. But like, bleh, I would vomit, dude. Ask me to be on a talk show. Bleh. Unless it's that one where you get to eat chicken wings. Hot ones? I would do hot ones for sure. Putting that on record right now. The guy just seems so nice. Yeah, Didn't look like no dog. Didn't look like no dog. Here, probably not. It's probably an actual line that I'm about, I'm about to get nasty on. Where are you, dumb kitty? Can I loot him? I didn't do nothing. Can I skin your cow? Oh my god, is it alive? Jesus. What is wrong with you people? It mooed. Sorry. It's just a video game, it's not a real a real cow. I have trouble disassociating sometimes. <laughs> Poor thing was all Mrr. Yeah, don't ever be mortally wounded around me with a gun, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I put it down without question. But again, I grew up on a farm. Things can't be saved. They're gonna be in the house. It wouldn't make sense for it to be in a house. It would run away from a house. Especially if it had been in captivity. No, maybe because it had been in captivity, it's conditioned to like small spaces. <gasps> Is it up here? Oh, I ain't never been on the water tower, mama. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful night.